Oh, Maradona, come on. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. I just know this, this time here, look, come on. How are you doing? You all right? Yes. I see you. Right? Memories? I know this shirt, yeah. England yeah, debut. Right, yeah. So we've got a little gift for you. It's your 2008 United shirt. Champions Stop. League shirt? Yep. Don't leave me hanging. Okay. Put it on. I'll put it on. These are baggy shirts back in so the like day, wouldn't they? like it tight now, in the way, so. Yeah. In That's with the right. times. That's all right, isn't it? Champions League, man, is my, the biggest cup that I won. and I was captain, and so this means a hell of a lot to me. We've got like the best collection of kits to basically tell your life story. Starting from when you was born, working all the way around to your last game. That there is the first kit I've ever worn as a kid. And I had a headband to go with it and I had a big afro. Oh, I've always thought, look good, feel good. This is one of the most iconic kits. Low for Mateus, powerhouse in midfield. Probably about the same height as you. I thought it was bigger the way he played. Mm. But this kit was a bad kit. Like, look at that, man. I'd wear that now, that <laughs> kit. Mexico 86, John Barnes coming on and crossing the ball for Lineker, but also for the man who wore this shirt, Diego Maradona. First guy that made me go out of my house and try and replicate what he was doing. Obviously, I didn't, I couldn't get anywhere near that. Oh, Roger Miller. Remember Roger Miller, the dance, the little Is that where you learnt yours from? That's where I got the moves, bro. That's where I got the moves. Gaza. That's one as well, yeah. Yeah, that kit was bad. What are you going what for? What a kit, that, that kit was nuts. This is the man. John Barnes was my hero when I was growing up and this was the kit, the crown paints kit. I love John Barnes. That's one of the most, like, poignant shirts. It's crazy that my most iconic photo that I ever looked at as a kid was the picture of John Barnes running on the pitch and the banana. He back with a banana like that. It was thrown by a fan. The kid from my background, young Blackburn on the state, to see someone like him doing what he was doing was, it meant so much. So, yeah, so I watched a lot of Liverpool games when I was a kid because of John Barnes. Yeah. This kit, this was Gazza going to Italy. Yeah. Opening up Italian football even more for the English fans on a Gazzetta della Sport on a Sunday, or Saturday morning. All the best players in the world at that moment, in that time, was in Italy. And these kits here with the motto, look, Lotto. If you could get a pair of Lotto boots, you was the man on my estate. Yeah. Like, no one had them. Like, this tracksuit here is, oh, look, I would rock that now. Where would you rock it to, though? Anywhere. I could go anywhere they let me in. <laughs> look at that. Oh, come on, man. Berezi, look, come on. Oh, Maradona, come on. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. I just know this, this time here, look, come on. Mancini. That's Mancini, match was up front. Front. armband still on it. Look, don't lie. Is it? Hey, Mancini was the man at St. Doria. Like, people forget. Who was his partner? Viali up front. Oh, no. <laughs> no. This collar came out. I'll be honest, I didn't like it that much, but it was, a, it was an era. You just knew. Oh, Batistuta. You know. <laughs> Batty goal. Marked him out of the game at the World Cup. This is my man. R9. When R9 says it's on, it's on. What he'd done to some Italian defenders who were considered the best defenders in the world at the time, he put people to sleep. Lay down, let me go past. That's what you were saying to them. And here we got 94 World Cup. Ooh, Baggio. Baggio. Ren Ramari. Ramari. Oh, Ramari. The toe poke. Devastating finisher. People forget about this guy when they talk about greats. Underrated. Mad finisher, yeah. Little, stocky, fast. Loved the carnival. That couldn't, that can't be defended. My be all and end was to be a footballer. I didn't care how I'd done it. We used to say, on my estate with my friends. If I play one minute, one second of professional football, I'll die a happy man. There's no one really gonna come out of the estate and do this. I've, if, I, I've done it. Me making it meant that they'd done a little bit, they made it a little bit. So like when I was getting all new kit and stuff like that, I'd bring it back to my estate, give it all to my mates. I'm like laughing my mates and walking around in like West Ham clothes or, or England clothes, mm. track suits and stuff, because I used to just take it all. This is your loan to Bournemouth. Harry Redden asked me to go on loan. It was my birthday weekend and I said, was listen. Was wearing this when he I'm, told you? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> I said, Harry, like, I've, I've already, that, that was the coat man he used to wear. <laughs> I said, Harry, I've already organised a birthday party and stuff, I can't go. He said, no, you got to go, it'll be the best thing you can do. And I, I went and when I came back, I got straight into the first team at West Ham, which was great. You know, this was probably when I had my best time at West Ham when I played in this kit. I was like, believed that I could be a top player. And then Leeds, 
had made a bid of 18 million pound to West Ham and the CEO at the time just said to me, listen, we've accepted, what do you want to do? And from when they accepted the deal, I just said, right, that's me, I'm done, I'm going to go. And they were in Europe, Champions League then, yeah. played yeah. against Valencia. Semi-final? Semi-final Champions League. We played these year and we drew 0-0 at home and we was like, I think we'll beat these. Went to their place, boy, semi-final Champions League and got dusted down 3-0. And I thought, wow, we are way off. Eventually, I went to the World Cup and then the, the bid came straight in to Manchester United. It's crazy because this kit, yeah, it's not even, a, I didn't even like the kit that much, but one of the things when you, you go to a new club, people don't realise that the first thing I would want to do would want to feel the kit on me. So the feeling is better smelling than the look? It, yeah, smelling it. It could be a nice looking kit, but it don't fit right, it don't oh. sit right. You see the Man United kit, they're so successful. What's it like to wear that kit, man? And you get it and it's like... So let's, it just, let's just go through your United career. We've got it all here, yeah. rival teams, moments. Yeah, this just was a lovely kit. It. I love this kit. And then Ooh, these no, two no, bad no. boys. I don't, I don't even want to see <laughs> these shirts. This was a bad time, man. <laughs> Ronaldo banged in a hat-trick at Old Trafford and got a standing ovation. Now, for a defender to see the opposing striker get a standing ovation at my home ground means he must have done some mad stuff to me. I felt that I actually played all right that day. It was just Fabian Bartes let me down. The goalkeeper, <laughs> he just didn't put his arms on that day. Oh, Thierry. Oh. Thierry, Thierry. See, when you see the long sleeves on the Arsenal shirt, you know right then, straight away, who you're coming up against. And you know it's that time you got to focus in, because this guy is to end careers, man, in the Premier League. This is when I got braids, man. Oh, what was that about, bro? Iconic, man. <laughs> People are still living off them braids right now. It's just, it's just what I do, man. I'm just iconic. Like, this guy, yeah? Let me just say something about this guy. This guy... People don't give this guy the respect he deserves. This guy was unplayable. Like, I know for a fact we used to go into games and people just look at him in a tunnel like that. Is that him? <laughs> Is that Wayne Rooney? <sighs> best United team ever? I, don't, I, I think that's the best team ever. I don't think that team gets beat. I, I, then, I'm sorry, I don't think it does. Then you we had too much pace. And, and, then, then, and then we played Barca again in, this, this, in London at Wembley. I remember standing and watching them go up the, to, the stairs at Wembley to get the trophy and just standing there and going, wow, I've never been embarrassed in public like this. Is that, was that worse than the Ronaldo? Yeah, that was worse than everything. This was the worst. This was the most embarrassing night of my life in terms of. I remember Busquets, and he went, "You and Vidic, boom, boom, boom." <laughs> but the disrespect that he showed them, I thought, "No, never. No, I can't accept this." Oh, you can't go past this. This is a bad moment, man. I thought we'd won the league. We beat Sunderland. And everyone was saying, "Yeah, you've won it. You've won it." And, the, and then all of a sudden, Sunderland's fans went crazy. Rah! So I knew that they'd scored, man. <laughs> <laughs> All of your England playing career, and then That's this the is That's the Cameroon your... team I played against. Yep. And that was the, the kit that I wore mm -hmm. when I came on in that game. One of the best feelings. I remember the whole crowd was shouting my name at Wembley. Like, I was baffled, like, whoa. Robbie Fowler should have passed me. I would have scored on my debut. Don't forget that, Robbie. Never <laughs> forgot that. Probably my best performances in England shirt were in this kit. Uh, and then... I scored in that game, that's when you got the guns dance, out, yeah, you know what I mean? The guns came out, Romano was... I've always got to be, you can't lose that right in the back, innit? <laughs> Here, oh, that, we got, they beat us. First Ronaldinho. time I ever cried watching football. Is it? Yeah. Well, I cried that day as well, before the game, because I was so emotional. I'm thinking, I'm playing against the best. Like, this is what I've lived to do from, from, my, from what I can remember. And my mum and that are in the, in the stand screaming and going crazy, and the national anthem's on. It just all kind of got to me and I just got emotional. When Ronaldo got sent off, wasn't it? Yeah. He winked. Yeah, but the wink, yeah. I remember, I, Rooney got sent off. I remember Rooney got sent off. I had, I had to go and see Cristiano after the game. I took Waza and spoke to him and said, listen, I just sort it out before it goes anywhere because it's going to be a big media frenzy. So, but they were cool after the game. They spoke about it. Waza wasn't happy, but in the end, they sorted it out and they were fine. All the kits we've seen, mm. burning building, you had to pick one kit, no strings attached. What would the kit be? Wow, where's it gone? It would have to be this kit. It would have to be my... If the house is burning down, I had to pick one kit. Moscow, 2008. Luznicki Stadium, Champions League. The Ferdinand kit. 